So, somebody got themselves a working mobile device now. So, remember that old Cub Kid ad I drug home? Well, it's been slightly reduced a little bit. Oh no, this isn't what's left of it. Uh, we got a little bit of it over here, hanging like a deer carcass in someone's basement. We got dirt bikes that never run just like always. Mud run, flat tire, just like always. JD-112, I don't think I did any documentation on this one. I had to crack the bottom of the engine case off to uh, change a piston and poor compression. And I still don't know what the hell compression it's got because I have electrical work to do yet. And then over here, there's a wide open door. The freshly cut lawn. But we aren't even done with inside yet. Up here is the workshop. Hasn't changed much since before my phone broke. Other than the fact that I have a K301 in a billion pieces. That's the crankshaft. That's the cam. The little gear you see there. And the rest of that's a bunch of covers. It's a head and that's the block. Also got this thing, but I think I think you saw this in the birthday video. Uh, I think that I had gotten from a, I think I got that impact screwdriver as a Christmas gift. Here's the fenders for the cadet. Every other body parts down there. That's the steering column. Oh yeah. That's a name I love seeing. You gotta keep the dust off that shit. Or else every mechanic is going to hate you forever. If you're wondering how I stripped the paint off that frame, this is how I did it. Did it with a good old wire. Why? Wire. Ah! I sh I I make a comeback video after saying "fuck this shit," I'm out. On a live stream because I streamed for like nine hours and no no one once came in to watch. Uh, the LA-105, she's been a busybody. Uh, yesterday I went to Grandma's, mowed her lawn, and the neighbor said, Hey, my shit's still broken. Can you mow my lawn? I'll give you a full tank of gas. In a $20 bill. If you do a good job, I might toss in something extra. And of course, because of how broke I am, and uh, I take everyone's fucking junk expecting I can fix it. And, well, you need these little green things called dollars to fix it. Uh, this one was one we were... Uh, I think this was one of the last things I did major documentation with. I think this was the last one I did a on the field video with. Yes, the exhaust is now conduit pipe. But uh, she's been a project because the engine came loose again. Yeah, the, she's got the mud runts uh, steering knob. She could use it more than a runt could. The runt steering is so goddamn hard to turn. And yep, she's optimized for tow ball towing right now. Uh, I don't think I even did a video with that. I actually got that running a few months ago. I did make a Snapchat video... With this, with it running, I couldn't figure out how to get drive. I found a screwdriver jammed in one of these tracks. But, yeah, this, this, this is, if you're wondering what this is, this is the creeper gear. Uh, that's a rare attachment for these Cub Cadet trannies. And then this here is a uh, Suzuki RS-175. And, uh... 
just like every other fucking two-stroke it sat since quarantine, it doesn't run. This thing, however, you give this thing enough gas, this piss missile will fire right up. Now, the reason why I call it a piss missile isn't because it's crappy, is because this thing will fly. I thought it'd go slow as hell for being a little Chinese nut Kawasaki knockoff. No, this thing takes off. Like, it's, it's not as crazy as that one, but this thing is just friggin'. It, it's pretty crazy for what it is. When I started shifting gears, totally, totally. Uh, was in for a rude awakening. Uh, I suppose we can cut walking around the shop. Just go straight outside. Kitties are doing good, but we lost one in January. Uh, I was curious how she passed. She did go peacefully. Uh, she fell asleep before she actually died, so. Here's my old Pontiac. This was mid the majority of summer 2021's content. And, yeah. Is she by any means perfect? Hell no. She has a fucking dead cylinder. So I proceed to pull on a locked door. And also, one of our cats became an amputee, too. Yeah, I put some miles on her. Battery still needs to be jumped, but I have cleaned her up a bit. Hey, show everybody your paw. He lost a toe after he fucking caught his foot in something. I gotta leave the door open for the, this guy now. And then this. This was a freebie. How the hell do you get cars for free? Well, I'll tell you what. <laughs> I know someone who got a fox body in mint condition for free. If you don't know what a fox body is, I mean fox body Mustang. Mid to late 80s and early 90s Mustangs. But this here is a rebadged Toyota Matrix. Or otherwise just a Pontiac vibe. And, uh... The motor light song is the cat's going to shit, but she runs good. <clears throat> yes, I have keys for everything. I need the key for this little booger to start my, my hunk of fucking engineering. Look, good song. I don't want copyright. No, I'm not paying attention to my phone. I'm paying attention to the driveway. I can go up a little further. Tell me how close we're getting. Now I'm paying attention to the phone. Cause that just gives me a little bit of fucking leeway when it comes to my poor eyesight. Well, my eyesight's actually fine. I just pick on myself on how bad it is. Oh yeah, this is a two-handed job. Uh, where can I prop you all up? I'm making sure I haven't ended the damn video now. Mm. 
reason why it sounds like there's nuts in there is because this car actually sat for two years because the old owner didn't have a use for her. So the dude was kind of, you know, hearing that my dad got his truck hit by a deer and it was going to be stuck in a body shop for a millennia. Like, well, I got this old piece of shit sitting at my house. You want it? And uh, we said sure. And sure enough, uh, about a month or so later, after all the legal work was done, uh, she was in the driveway for a little bit. We had to do a tie rod end on her, which I wish I had a good camera at the time to do that job because that was fun. I need to get in. Thank you. <clears throat> Shit, I forgot the key. How stupid of me. I also got the Sirius XM working in Cherry again, too. She was part of my dad's plan. And, uh, given on how he didn't know that the signal needed a refresh. She was pretty much paying for an empty car. It's better not roll. No, see no rollage. I will be pissed if that doesn't move. Okay, we can close that for right now. We don't need that right now. Now I have you thinking, why of all the major content of the single video you are showcasing here, is about your pathetic little fucking shitbox cars. Uh, first of all, this one isn't even mine. This one's my dad's. The other one's mine. You get the idea. You don't need your eye, right? I have better intentions. Ah, <sighs> oh, yes, that is a light I see all the time. Oh, man, I'm just putting the key in the chain again. Key and the key chain. Yeah, she's been. Renovated a little bit. Yeah, I know. You don't need, yeah, I know. I know. Thank you. I could probably. Headlights do work. Like I said, it's only running on three cylinders. I'm trying to look for my fucking cat. Not in the mood to run the hell over.
The reason why there's a clacking when I let out the clutch pedal is because I think the pilot bearing or something is going bad. See how much oil it leaked onto the pizza box. Shit, that's a good amount. Yeah, it's oil, that's not fuel. We think that is because the compression is escaping around the rings in the fourth cylinder. And oil is getting pushed through a weak spot on the gasket. This damn thing's too tiny for you to actually see anything. Even if I turn the flash on this new phone here. I mean, you can see some on that back, on that spot there. It looks pretty damn shiny. Yes, the unibody's in very good condition. In certain spots, you can actually still see the original uh, paint from the factory. She ain't bad for what she is. And yes, she's a unibody car, as I was saying. You need to back your buttocks up. You want to get run over? Don't think you do. <sighs> He's the one who likes to stay in my dad's way. He's the one who doesn't move when dad's in, in, in the driver's seat. Whenever I'm driving, he budges. What doesn't help is he's now dead center behind my car. And now it's smoking. Doing that to spook him. Yeah, now he's in the back. Would you believe that this thing is supposed to be my first car? Nah, she's a project. Uh, nah, I see my cat. We can move him, we can go this way. I gotta pump up my tires. As my fuel gauge continues to dim, dim down. To think it was below quarter tank last I was fucking with it. Let me see. You know I got a air pressure gauge. Is it, is it in the glove box of this whole thing? This old beastie. I think it is. Oh, there's a lot of the shit I used to hang around the rear view. 
I'm starting to knock shit off. I fucking last year I took the fucking rearview mirror off the damn windshield. I had to stick it back on. So I reduced the amount of bullshit hanging around my rearview mirror. Uh, I probably have another air gauge inside. Look at them lights. The mold halogen bulbs, man. They have been on the. Oh, that's right. I put it back in the set. Uh, those halogen bulbs have been on that car for. Good God. I think those are four year old lamps. These rims are brand new. They were bought when the tires were done. Uh, just under 20. She needs to tap off. If I had license plates, I'd cut the video, go to the gas station, pop some quarters in, and show you the video of me doing the air. But, unfortunately, we don't have that. Uh, this one has about 30 in it. Not that bad. Hey, 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 get over here, little shit. Thinks it can run away. These, I don't know what the hell, uh... PSI is supposed to be in here. We could probably flick around in the manual and get what's supposed to go in the cars by factory spec and wow, that smells like fucking raw fuel. Just under 20. Yeah, this whole fucking thing needs to fill up. No wonder why it's giving me shit. When I try to move the damn thing, the tires are flat. Oh yeah, that needs to fucking fill up. Firing up the air compressor. It's gonna be a long and tedious process, but... We'll get there. Alright. So, you know how I used to use that big one in the corner over here? Still want to use it. She just needs some maintenance. But, I got hooked up with this wee little booger. So, when I spray the frame of my Cub Cadet with IH yellow, so. We're going to put that on. We're gonna click on our little buddy and get our air pressure here. So. Uh, yeah, this still works too. Don't wanna use it when the fucking battery's toasted though. Yes, I have the Bible in terms of the friggin' amount of tissues. Really? Well, you get the idea on what I'm doing. I'm filling up the air and putting this big beastie back in the driveway. So thanks for watching this comeback video. See you next time.